Yes, please. Sorry. So I'm, I'm, from, I'm a Yazidi. Yes, he's prize winner. I'm from Iraq, and uh, I'm, I cannot say my family is there in the jail because when ISIS attack us, no one protect us. After 2003, we start to to disappear from our area, from our homeland. Uh, when ISIS attack us in 2014, they killed six of my brother. They killed my mom. They took me to captivity with my 11 sister-in-law, with all my sister and my nieces. Until today, we have 3,000 Yazidi women and children in captivity. The, Although they said ISIS is defeated, but where is those 3,000 Yazidi? And uh, our our home is is destroyed. We come to here. We go to Europe. We to, go to Arab country that ISIS did this. Uh, everyone saw that, and we uh, appreciate. And you were Vice, captured. You yes, were captured. Vice President, he helped us a lot. But now today, you you can solve our problem. Now there is no ISIS, but we cannot go back because Kurd Kurdish government and the Iraqi government, they are fighting each other who will control my area. And we cannot go back if we cannot protect our dignity, our, our uh, family. Um, but, uh, we, we get a lot of support from President Macron. He pushed, he, he put a lot of pressure in Iraqi and Kurdistan government to, to help minorities, Yazidi, to stay in their home. But we still continue to immigrate to find a safe place to live. I, right. I hope you can call or anything to Iraqi and Kurdistan government to. But ISIS is gone. But if I, if but I can. But now it's Kurdish and, and who? Iraqi. Iraqi government, if I cannot go to my home and live in a, a safe place and, and get my, like, my dignity back, this is not about ISIS. It's about I'm um, in danger. My people cannot go back. We are not a million of people. We are only half a million people. And after 2014, about 95,000 Yez 95, Yazidi, they immigrate to Germany through a very dangerous way, not because we want to be a refugees, but, but we cannot find a safe place to live. All this happened to me. They killed my mom, my sixth brother. They left behind them. Where are they now? They killed them. They are in the mass graves in Sinjar. And I'm still fighting just to live in safe. Please yeah. do something. And it's not about one family. I or know the area very well you're it's, talking about. It's about half a million. It's, it's about tough. a whole yeah. community. OK. We're going to look into it very Thank strongly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, and you had the Nobel Prize. Yeah. That's incredible. But they gave it to you for what reason? Make it explain. For what reason? For that after all this happened to me, I didn't give up. I, can, I, I, I make it clear to everyone that ISIS raped thousands of Yazidi women. This one was first time the woman from Iraq, she get out and spoke about what happened to her. Oh, really? And Is that right? It's fi That's the first, first time. time. And it's, so you escaped? I escaped, but I, I, don't, I, I don't have my freedom yet because you, you, you didn't see any ISIS in, in court. ISIS are. We don't know if they killed every day, everyone, if they are in, in jail. But we know we have 3,000 Yazidi women and children, including my niece, my nephew, my sister-in-law. Three years ago, she called us. She said, I'm in Syria. And now we didn't know anything about it. Let me look. We're going to look. OK. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mr. President.